Hello, my name is Alan. This is my wife, Jane. Um, we've been coming to St Paul since 1980 when I moved to uh, Somerset with my job from Hertfordshire. Um, uh, I was an only child. My parents uh, weren't particularly religious, but they always sent me to Sunday school. I always went to Church of England schools. So I did have a grounding there, but um, it wasn't until 1980 um, mainly through the guidance of my wife, that I was confirmed. I, I, I brought up um, in, a, in, a, in a Christian family and I, I went to Sunday school in a Methodist church and I feel really that I did know Jesus, but I, well I thought I knew Jesus, but in actual fact I think once we started Alpha at St Paul's, that's really the time I think when I realised that uh, I didn't know quite as much as I thought and I certainly didn't know him personally. But through Alpha and through going to <coughs> Toronto um, a couple of times, so we, we really both were filled with the Holy Spirit and, and knew Jesus as our Saviour. In, in May 1997 I was made redundant, although I was, we were living down here and working down here. The company I worked for was based in Kent and uh, virtually overnight um, it was discovered that the financial director had been carrying out a tremendous fraud and the company virtually collapsed overnight, which was, um, you know, quite traumatic at the time. It was at that point that I decided I wasn't going to work for anybody else, I wanted to work for myself. Um, and uh, we, we've got a very interesting story to, to tell regarding that because uh, Jane came with me to our bank, which is Lloyd's in South Parade, down in the centre of town there by the High Street. And uh, I went in there and, and, and set the business account up and everything. And um, as we were coming out the, the main entrance there, and you know that part of the town is quite busy, people going backwards and forwards and whatever. And as we came out of the <laughs> bank, um, we, we found uh, 10 pound notes were coming down from the sky like confetti. Um, this might sound a bit far-fetched but this is this is the truth and uh, the, the most bizarre thing was that nobody else seemed to notice that this money was coming down and, uh, and I looked at Jane it didn't last for long but long enough you know and, uh, and, and I looked at Jane she looked at me and and we thought well we'd better pick this money up so we started picking it up and again nobody and there were lots of people walking past as you know that part of town nobody seemed to notice the money or what we were doing and uh, we picked this money up. Uh, I, I couldn't remember how much it was. Jane tells me that it was about 150 pounds in 10 pound notes. Um, obviously, um, you know, we took this to be a sign. We didn't keep the money. Uh, we gave the money to, to Margaret Garner, who some of you may know. Margaret was working for a charity at that time called uh, Brain. Bibic. Bibic. Um, we gave the money to Margaret for the Bibbit charity, but we took that to be a sign. And, and, and as it happened, until I retired um, in 2000, when did I retire? 2009? Yeah. I retired in 2009, and from 97 to 2009, I was very successful. Um, it was a very successful time, it was a pleasurable time, and um, you know, things couldn't have worked out better. And, but God blessed us. That was his blessing. That was a sign that he was blessing us. And, and um, you know, we just kind of feel that that was uh, what God was doing for us. I'm a very uh, down-to-earth person. I don't get carried away with anything very easily. And uh, I think, um, you know, if, if, uh, if you know, God can, can do things for me, and I can realise what he's done, you know, I think um, a lot of other people can benefit because uh, I, I am quite sceptical. And as I say, I'm very down to earth, I'm very grounded in that way, but you know, I've, I, you know, things have happened to me that, you know, I wouldn't have believed. 